Namaste. My name is Pooja. I'm born and raised in India and uh, I'm a yoga teacher. I've been teaching past 11-12 years now but I've been practicing yoga ever since I started to understand things in life. So um, I also am a writer and I love to write things that I feel very strongly about. I wish to release my first book this year very soon. Um, but today I am making this video on a particular topic that I am feeling very strongly at the present and would like to share with the world. So I'm going to make this video in English and in Hindi. Uh, English because uh, so that the world can understand me for people across the globe and in Hindi for my own uh, countrymen and um, whoever is listening to me I have a very sincere request that whatever I have written down I would request you to kindly uh, listen it with your heart because the mind can confuse at times and can uh, you know create doubts so just switch off the button of the mind and try to open up your heart for a while and uh, listen to it with the uh, same in intensity with which I have written it. So uh, the topic is uh, every life on earth matters. Whenever there is a history of oppression, whenever there is an outrage, it isn't born out of nothing. It isn't simply invoked by the intent of violence, hatred or prejudices without having to go through immense suffering and suffocation over a very long period of time by merely not being acknowledged for the basic human rights. At such times, it is the duty or responsibility of the not so oppressed and fortunate minds to not just uplift the morale of these unfortunate people but have a heart to send them love as much as one can if not in action then in thoughts words or prayers mind is a very powerful tool and it can convey anything and exactly the same what it is programmed to whether in awareness or in ignorance just as every child expects from its mother its father its uh, parents its uh, heavenly father when they make a mistake and ask to be pardoned if instead of being forgiven they are punished without having to understand the reason for their behavior without being compassionate without having empathy then that is what is reinforced in a child's behavior and keeps repeating following like a chain as he grows we all have witnessed the domino effect of coronavirus. When one problem emerges and if it turns out to be so big, it doesn't mean it will only be limited to that sole problem and not lead to several different problems. It's the same in human body. If the problem isn't solved healthily and if it's the same in human body, whenever there is a disease disorder, Diagnose it isn't limited only to that pain. It slowly leads to many other pain and problems. It's the same in society. If the problem isn't solved healthily and force and power is imposed to solve sensitive issues, then it will keep spreading further and further ahead. It is very convenient to sit in a comfortable environment and to judge others without having affinity towards it, to be preaching without practicing and to show off one's discerning knowledge but not capability or even to stay silent in such situations only because one has an advantage and that advantage was earned by fear, by choosing fear, fear to tread alone and be individually strong. Everybody feels pain. Everybody knows to keep patience. Everybody knows that they want and they should choose peace. And so everybody is allowed to scream so that they can breathe and live.
like everyone else with equality with justice with freedom with love and peace not everyone aspires to be rich and successful especially at the cost of making other people feel beneath them and rule over them and proving their self worth as that's not even needed because to live a good life one just has to be who he or she is and be happy and contented in it and do not mistake in contentment here with complacency such people are just as powerful or in fact can be more powerful at times just as we saw in the case of nirbhaya in india george floyd in us and many more without boasting without bragging or shouting out loud and telling the world that they are great or they can do things extraordinarily no matter what cost it is achieved at and now i would like to say something to the people who feel oppressed who feel like a victim who feel that they are in a minority group be it from any caste creed culture religion or gender we all are born with our individual baggage a very unique dna which not only really stores experiences of this life but when we are born the reason that makes us stand out and different from the rest is our baggage hidden in our unconscious and the subconscious state of mind other than our natural impulses to like or to dislike several things people places etc we also have an intellect which can help us overcome and heal any pain no matter how severe in the past or in our childhood whatever issues we all as individuals find and raise in the society we must be very careful of a very big disease it is an impairment or defect of the mind and that is self contempt it is this feeling of self pity and low self esteem that gives rise to external power to dominate us it is most dangerous for our existence on earth more dangerous than covid-19 if we only understand how powerful is our own mind and how we can turn the situation into our favor not to gain power or to push others down but to be self sufficient to be self contented and for inner peace trust me it isn't about hindu versus muslims or black versus white or brahmins versus scheduled caste or backward class or uh, you know it isn't about men versus women it is only about how we think talk and act that decides where it will take me